All right, we are here with Richard from Heritage Hash Company, and uh, they have some excellent offerings this year at Emerald Cup, and we would like to uh, ask them about the aged Heady OG Temple Ball. I know that you are currently sold out, but tell us about that uh, Temple Ball and uh, and how it was aged. That one was, uh, was a pretty special one. Our, uh, our buddies up at Mendo Dope grew the, grew the Heady OG. Uh, was a full term outdoor last year. We ended up actually uh, we did the, the ice water wash on that one, collected all that. Uh, we ended up so we did a full uh, crescent age on it. So we hit it under near boiling temperature in in uh, mylar, so that it would uh, get a nice actual homogenize to it. Um, break that down into 30, 40 gram increments and uh, wrap those up, seal them up under vacuum, and we actually cured those out for a year uh, at about 45, 50 degrees, which uh, if, you're, if anyone was able to see those yesterday, they were glossy to say the least. Uh, they were actually kind of drooling out some terpenes, so that was one of the, the real fun things to see on it is you know, a lot of people, they'll age and it can dry out or get a little pasty. Um, it did not do that at all. It was a uh, real happy sight seeing it pull out of the out of the parchment. Like it just wanted to be in that jar. Uh, so we brought it out for its debut yesterday, and, and yeah, as stated, we sold out pretty well by the end of the day. That's amazing because there's a completely different chemistry that happens as that aging process happens. Yeah. Can you kind of speak to the effect? Because I know that the, the effect is completely different than a lot of this live type uh, rosin that you're seeing today. Absolutely. Yeah, so when you when you do the meltdown and and start that curing process, you're, you're having a really light decarboxylation process that starts, and that will kick a break down of the THC content to where normally you'll start with, you know, 70-ish percent uh, THC and, you know, very little on the, the CBD, CBN side of that. Uh, when you put it into a temple ball form, the terpenes that are volatile are actually able to break those components down. So the longer you're letting it sit, the more you're seeing the development of the CBN, CBG, uh, maybe even THCV, uh, uh, depending on how long you're able to leave it, how good your storage conditions are, so that when you get into it, uh, like you said, you're getting a much fuller experience out of it. Uh, not to say that the live rosin doesn't have a punch or have have presence, it's just a very different high and experience that most people are used to because it's something that really has, has faded away for the most part in, in popular culture lately with the advent of dabs and solvent, like the whole BHO craze when it hit you know, however many years ago. That was all anybody wanted because it was a superior product at the time. And so, like, Temple Balls, Charis, Blue Sip kind of went to the wayside for a while. But here at, at Heritage Cash Co., that's kind of the heritage, the heritage is in the name of we want to bring the best that the plant can forward. And in the Heady OG, it wanted to be a Temple Ball. So that's what we wanted it to be. And I would say that um, from a medical perspective, if you're someone who's having sleep issues, body pain, any of those types of things, you're going to get far more value out of something Absolutely. like a Temple Ball than you would, say, trying a live resin. You may find that you're going to get a way better night's sleep and wake up more uh, with a lot lot less inflammation. Absolutely, yeah, and, and that, that really is a testament to the, the CBD, CBN, that, that compound uh, breakdown that's happening. Um, you know, when you're, when you're extracting the, the rosin, granted it's got 80 plus percent THC and, you know, maybe 5% can, uh, CBD if you're lucky, um, it's really really for that kind of that head high, that immediate effect 
quick rather than sustained release and, and full wellness that yeah. the temple ball can really get you. Yeah, excellent. Well, thank you very much. And so where can people find you guys? We are up in Ukiah. We are 1076 Cunningham. Uh, we're just off the freeway, off the town of Jackson in Ukiah. Excellent. You got a website? We do, heritagemendocino.com. We are and you got an Instagram? Heritage Hashco. Yeah. All right, buddy. Well, I hope you have a good show, and I hope you sell out today. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by.